every sport I've ever played, I've just been the energy guy. I play technical, I play fast, I play aggressive, and I play in your face. You know, I don't make friends on the field, but it's all love. If shit's hitting the fan, I'm still gonna bring it. I've been playing this game for almost 18 years now, and I like to say I'm a playmaker, but I don't like to be that individual. Even though as much as I might come across as an individual on the field, I'm really a team player. I wanna do whatever it takes to win. With Shwe Bichal, it, it was a small town environment. They provided an awesome experience that brought me out here again. For me, that was awesome, but at the same time, I'm from the city and Shwe Bichal wasn't really like that. And so I said, you know what, I'm gonna go play in Frankfurt, try to make a name for myself, and I'm gonna help Frankfurt Universe make a name for themselves. And I think this team and organization is definitely booming. We kept the uh, Galaxy dream alive with the Frankfurt Universe. The Galaxy is gone, but the idea of Origin Purple Football in Frankfurt is still there, so people buy into the idea. But they opened the club, and within a couple of weeks, we had 500 club members, because people really wanted the Galaxy to you know, still exist, uh, use it as a universe, so it was fairly easy, because people were still working for it. You know, the heart and the passion was still there, so it was a good reason to do it, and I'm glad they did. The reason I think we can compete consistently with these other teams with bigger budgets is we have a plan, we kind of have a foundation that's been laid by our board and been laid down by Ziggy Garrick and kind of the atmosphere that's been created. Within the Unicorns organization, there is a family atmosphere overall. We don't offer our imports, what some other teams over here do financially, and we try uh, to offset that with a little bit more caring, I would say. Uh, and and you know, to me personally, that's important. We are still an organization that says this is an amateur sport and we'll keep an amateur as far as from our German players go. Um, so we know we're at a disadvantage there, but what we try and do is we try and sell our program. We try and sell the fact that when you come here, uh, you're going to be coached, um, you're going to be put in a, an atmosphere, an environment that's going to give you a chance to compete for a championship. We want you to come here and we want you to be here for a while and tell recruits that come in. I'm not looking for guys who are one and done. So I'm looking for guys who are going to come here and like the experience, want to be here, and want to be in Schreibisch Hall. I don't want to see it as a business, you know, where you just bring in people and say, hey, you know, you guys play for us. Uh, we want to get as much production out of you as possible, and that's it. But uh, I would like for these people to, to grow themselves and help us grow. That, that always happens with our imports. So, you know, j just for me personally, that's part of the unicorn experience, really. This is my job. This isn't just like a thing I'm doing for fun at this point. I have a contract and I have places to be. I have performances I have to adhere to and I, I have to do everything to keep my body healthy. Today we did here a, a mobility workshop. The uh, priority for a football player is to play football. Of course, they have a lot of uh, direction changing and high impacts. Yeah, now you turn. Turn, 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 sit down. Yeah, now you keep turning. Are you turning, turning? A lot of players, uh, they told me they have injuries. And the mobility prevent these injuries because the, the, the joint can move round. Look to the window. Hello. And kick. <laughs> Hello. If you have a disbalance in one side or the other side, you have to correct it. The organization, they want wins, and we want wins too, and they're basically saying, you're a pro athlete, you do what you gotta do to take care of your body, be an adult, and if you meet all your you know, goals and objectives, everything's A-OK. -okay. And for me, that's what I signed up for. One of the most frustrating parts of my job is just the perception of European football, okay? Because the level is very different between the countries and between the leagues and everything that's going on. 
I mean, European football is a competitive environment when you're talking about coaches, players, talent, recruiting. I mean, we're looking for pretty much some of the top talent in America. You know, we're, I always tell guys, we look for guys just off the NFL radar. And those are the type of guys we try and get over here because those are the type of guys we're competing against, you know, as far as imports. And then when you look at our German players, there's a lot of my guys who would be playing college football in the States on scholarship if they grew up there. Just, they just happen to be here in Germany, living here, so they decide to stay at home. I'm one of the oldest players here at Trebuchal. Um, I was a junior coach of a lot of players that now play for the first team. The ones that are born uh, when I started playing football come this year to join us during the season. It's great, man. They call me Papa somehow. We always have, you know, guys from other sports joining us at, the, at an older age, you know, let's in their 20s or late 20s sometimes. And that's always tough, you know, even though they're, they're, they're talented. But if they started playing football, you know, flag program at let's say 11, 12, by the time they reach us, they know the game. They can play it. I try to get the best out of them, give them the best opportunity to compete at a high level. I mean, for me, it's great to see them play in the GFL and how they develop as, as players and men. Nice catch, Maurice! The greatest moment of my life, sports-wise, was that we won the championship in 2011 and did it again in 2012, so back-to-back -back was great. I knew there was something I came here to do. I've never won a championship in college and high school, so um, you know I felt Schwabischal was still the best place for me to win a championship. This offseason, I started looking into what I could do to really stay in Europe, and um, I found out that there's a possibility where I could apply for dual citizenship, become a Italian American, um, and the biggest thing is become an EU citizen, to where I'd be able to stay in Europe for as long as I wanted, and so I was able to apply and became a dual citizen. Germany at least, you're only allowed two Americans on the field at the same time. I have um, citizenship in Portugal um, because of uh, my mom's family. Technically, yes, I'm an American. I'm lucky enough to have a dual passport, which makes me a non-American on the field anymore, and I'm a European import, you could say. You look at the top teams in the GFL, and I mean, they're all playing with as many dual passports as you can get. So it's a loophole that the system allows, and it's some a lot of teams take advantage of, and uh, I'm glad that I have it because it makes my opportunities a lot bigger here. You know, I really like the, our house situation here. I mean, it's a, it's a house up on top of the hill. There's, there's plenty of space. I think we have six or seven guys in it right now. You know, it's out away from the city, but not too far. I mean, it's still a five minute walk and you're in downtown Schwabish Hall, which is awesome. What time's our game tomorrow? It's at five. Oh, it's nice. Wait, we play at five? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's a perfect time, man. Just having a house, I think it keeps everybody together. It, it, it builds chemistry. And out here, I mean, I think chemistry is everything. Your group may not be the most talented out of, out of all the, the import groups in Europe. However, if you guys all play together and you like each other, I mean, that's just going to help the team. There's never really a car issue. There's not like one car for 10 people. It's basically two to a car. So there's always, there's always a car available. And like, if you really do need to do something, you just let people know ahead of time and you got a car. Yeah, I mean, it's shared cars, it's, they're brand new. I mean, this one has 1,400 miles on it. We put all those miles on it. That's crazy. Yeah, we, yeah I mean, this is brand new, all touch screen with the Wi-Fi in here, OnStar, full Navi, so it's cool. Like, it's Can more- Can I get the Wi-Fi password? You want the Wi-Fi password? Uh, let me get on there real quick. That's dope, man. I need to upgrade my car. <laughs> <laughs> Frankfurt's really trying to be that program that's setting the tone. Um, we're, we're new to the GFL one and new to the South, but this uh, environment they're creating of a big import crew is is one that I think might catch trend pretty soon once teams and organizations realize that having a, a strong sponsor base with a strong team that makes more competitive football, more fans are gonna come, the football performance is better, the sponsors are gonna be more intrigued by all of that. This is what's making a competitive environment. You know, guys that you're willing to pay for and you're, you can cut them if they're not performing the way you want, that, that shows this is serious. The atmosphere here in Schwabisch on game day is great. I mean, it's loud. You know, we may only have 2,000, but we'd have to stand right next to each other on our sideline to talk to each other. You know, I don't think many teams have that, that home field advantage to where, you know, it's not a big place 
but we know we're gonna have a ton of support. For us to win Saturday versus Frankfurt, I'm, we gotta we have to be fundamentally sound. We gotta play together. Um, we gotta limit our mistakes. I mean, they just came up from GFL two. They put a lot into into being good and, and being ready to compete for a championship this year. Everything is development, and uh, you know we're playing triple solid in the first week and also in the last game. So whatever happened this week, we can match up in the week 14. I, I know the individual player standpoint, they're very good. The question is whether they have been able in the past few weeks to bring this all, all together. We're ready to go. We've been working all off season to get ready for this game and to get ready for this season. I, mean, I, I hope they don't think it's going to be a walk in the park where they have a rude awakening coming for them. see those guys again. Remember how you feel week 14 when we see those jokers again. All right? Don't look at the scoreboard. Let's just go home, get ready for the next one. Any questions, guys? All right, let's go. Here we go. Universe on three. Let's go, guys. Here we go. One, two, three. Universe! Let's go home. Offense.